So gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I have a little bit of information that I would like to pass along to you guys. And it's regarding about the Rolex Daytona Yellow Gold John Mayer. You know, it has come to my attention that a lot of people have been, you know, trying to sell the watches on their own or consigning their watches. You know, when you're consigning your watch with one of your favorite Muppet Boiler Room channels, you gotta be very, very, very careful. Because right now, that John Mayer with the green dial is really, really, really hot and everybody wants it. You know, and the most expensive thing about that watch, it ain't the gold, yellow gold watch or the movement of the watch, it's that green dial. That's right, the green dial. That green dial, you're paying like $50,000 just for that green dial. And it has come to my attention that I'm not gonna say that every uh, watch dealer that you're sending your consigning watch to is doing this, but I believe some of them are doing it. They're doing the big switcheroo. And what they're doing is they're pulling out. When you send your watch in consignment to one of your favorite Muppet Boiler Room channels, you're sending them a full set with everything. It's an original, authentic Rolex Daytona John Mayer with the green dial, yellow gold. The works, right? And I'm telling you out there right now, there is some perfect, perfect, one-on-one -on -one clone John Mayer Daytona dials. You pull out the original dial and you put the clone and nobody can really notice that they did a switch. It's a one-on-one -on -one clone. So what happens is you guys, the ones that are getting burned are the buyers. Those are the ones that are getting burned because you as a seller, you send your watch to your favorite Muppet Boiler Room channel dealer. He sells it and the one that's gonna get burned is the buyer. The buyer is gonna pay for that watch like it's all authentic. But in reality, the original dial has been pulled out and a clone has been put in. And you're happy because it's a perfect, perfect one-on-one -on -one clone green dial. The one that's gonna get burned is the buyer. So you guys gotta be very, very, very careful when you're buying these yellow gold John Mayer Daytona. Cause I've heard stories already that some people have purchased this watch. The whole watch is authentic. The whole watch, the bracelet, the casing, the movement, but the dial is a fugazi. It's a fugazi, it's a fake. It's a clone. It's not even a replica, it's a clone. It's like, I mean, you have to, and you don't even really notice because the only way you can notice if that dial is fake, you have to open up the watch completely. And not many people want to open up watches to look at a dial because the dial can get scratched. And, 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 that, and that watch and that dial, which is you're paying, you're paying $50,000 for that dial. So you don't want to play with that dial. You want to leave it the way it is. You don't want to touch it. So what happens is time goes by, two years go by, and you know, you've been all along, uh, you know, wearing a John Mayer with a, with a fake uh, dial, with a fake clone dial. And now after two years, you're gonna go back to your, to your favorite Muppet Boiler Room channel and tell them, hey, listen, you know, I just found out that the dial that I have in this watch is, is a clone, it's a fake. Two years have gone by. You know, the dealer just says, listen, I sent you the watch with everything. And it is, the watch, it is a Rolex Daytona Yellow Gold John Mayer. It is, it has all the paperwork, everything is there. But the dial has been switched to a clone, to a fake, to a fugazi. And you've been frogged, and you've been frogged real good, that's right, you've been frogged. So you guys gotta be very, very, very careful when you're buying this Rolex Daytona Yellow Gold John Mayer with the green dial, because they're doing the switcheroo on you guys. And I repeat one more time, I'm not saying that every watch dealer is doing this, but I've been hearing stories that it's happening. It's also happening with the Hawk, with the Green Dow Hawk, and it's also happening with the Rolex Yellow Gold GMT Green Dow. They're being replaced by clones, and they're staying with the original ones, and they're giving you a clone. And I'm telling you, I mean, the only way you can tell is if you open up those watches and you take out the dial, you turn it around, you loop it, you look at it, and, and, and you know you find out if it's a real thing or it's not a real thing. You guys gotta be very, very careful with this green fever dial you have going on. 
because what you're paying for these watches is for the dials in particular the Rolex Daytona John Mayer you're paying easy easy fifty thousand dollars extra for that dial that's right and you're paying another I don't know eight thousand seven thousand dollars for a Green Hawk and the same thing with the GMT you're paying another ten thousand dollars for the green dial and these uh, these dirty scoundrels you know what you call your favorite Muppet boiler room uh, channels dealers are staying with the original dials so be very 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 careful when you're purchasing these watches I'm, I'm you know be very careful listen I have a friend of mine that has a pawn shop and he pounded a Rolex Daytona yellow gold John Mayer with a green dial the watch was all authentic but the dial was fake all right, so be very, very careful when you're buying that John Mayer. Well, gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed what I had to say today and you learned something. Stay tuned for my next Watch Market update. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video. And like I say every week, take care and brush your hair.